So I've been running Linux now for just over a month and these are the things I think you should know before making the switch. Now, I don't think they're deal breakers and they're certainly not for me. In fact, I have loved every minute of my experience so far, but I'm a bit of a techie and these are real issues for less technical people. There are still some big problems nobody really talks about and I can't pretend that they don't exist because it helps no one. In this video, I'm going to cover the things that I think you should know if you're thinking of switching from Windows to Linux. I'm going to talk about Proton and how it's not the be all and the end all. I'm going to talk about annoying hardware driver issues, spying game launchers and too much choice and community toxicity. So Proton is not the magic fix people think it is. Don't get me wrong, Proton is amazing. It's the reason Linux gaming is even an option for me right now, but it's not perfect. Some games work today and may break after an update. Others run just fine. Sometimes you'll lose the ability to play completely because of anti-cheat, looking at you Fragpunk. And quite often you'll find yourself digging through ProtonDB or tweaking settings just to make something launch. If you're expecting a Windows style plug and play, then you might be in for a shock. Hardware drivers still cause headaches. I run AMD systems, so I've been lucky. AMD users have it easier, but Nvidia still comes with issues. The amount of posts I've seen where the first response is, are you running a Nvidia card? And the answer has been yes. Or if you're using a laptop with hybrid graphics, prepare for some frustration. Even controllers can act up depending on your distro. Now, it's not the end of the world, but it's far from smooth sailing. So launchers are a bit hit and miss. Steam is brilliant. Honestly, without it, this channel probably wouldn't exist and I'd be back on Windows grumbling about the need to install Windows 11. Steam just works, mostly, but Epic, EA, total faff. First, you need the apps to run them, like Lutris or Heroic, and they work most of the time, kinda, but they kind of feel hacked together. Updates often break things, and if you're like me, once you're into a game, you easily get hooked. Any downtime through broken launches would be painful. A lot of us switch to Linux for more control and privacy, right? But then we fire up Ubisoft Connect or EA app through Proton and give all that data straight back. These launchers track just as much on Linux as they do on Windows. Proton doesn't change that. At least Steam is open about it, collecting voluntary and anonymized system data for hardware stats and crash diagnostics. There's too many options and it makes Linux gaming harder. Here's something no one really warns you about. Fragmentation. Linux gives you a lot of choice and that's great until you realize how messy it can get. Different distros, different package formats, different desktop environments, nothing is standard. One guide will tell you to use Flatpak, another says app image and someone else always swears by native packages. You just want to install a game and suddenly you're knee deep in arguments about the right way to do it. Go onto Reddit and ask what distro you should be using for gaming. You'll get 50 different responses. Well, maybe not 50, but you get my drift. If I was you, just go for Fedora. It's been great. For no, wait, wait, no, no, I'm doing it. But yeah, choose Fedora though. The Linux gaming community is really toxic. Actually, that's not quite true. Well, not from what I have seen on my channel anyway. Everyone here has been super cool and welcoming so far, and it's been fantastic. I watched a video where the guy was saying how toxic and elitist the Linux community is, but I think that's a little bit unfair. I think Reddit and the internet in general has very toxic people. And when you're trying to learn new things, how one person approaches it is going to be very different to how others might. And I think that is a problem. So, Proton's brilliant, but not perfect. Drivers can still give you grief, especially with NVIDIA or hybrid laptops. Launchers like Ubisoft and EA, they're messy and they track you just like they do on Windows. Too many choices can make things confusing if you're new. And the whole Linux community is toxic thing. Honestly, most people I've met have been amazing. Just steer clear of the drama on Reddit. And here's the thing, none of this is a deal breaker for me and it shouldn't be for you. I've loved using Linux and I'm not planning on going back to Windows anytime soon. I just think it's good for you to know the reality before you jump in because if you expect everything to work just like Windows, you might be disappointed. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.